A clever young man named Lucius lived in the busy streets of ancient Rome, where grand marble monuments mixed with the noise of market vendors. Unlike the brave gladiators who fought for glory in the arena, Lucius believed in a different kind of victory, achieved through skill and strategy. From the dark corners of the Roman Forum to the luxurious halls of the Imperial Palace, Lucius navigated the complex webs of power with a mind as sharp as the dagger hidden under his toga. Born into the lower levels of society, he had an insatiable desire for advancement, a desire that burned brighter than the flickering torches that lined the streets. With his intellect that outshone his humble origins, Lucius realized that true power did not lie in the strength of arms, but in the cunning of the mind. He sought out the wise philosophers of Rome, conversing with them under the cloak of darkness, absorbing the timeless lessons of rhetoric, logic, and persuasion. As the sun set below the horizon, casting long shadows on the cobblestone streets, Lucius made a plan for his rise to power. He aimed to outsmart everyone who stood in his way by ascending the ranks of Roman society through a dance of guile and influence. His first target was the political arena, where ambitious men competed for the favor of the Senate. With his fluent eloquence, Lucius wove intricate speeches that swayed the hearts and minds of senators. His rivals, blinded by their arrogance, underestimated the cunning mind that lurked behind his unassuming facade. Through a series of clever manipulations and calculated alliances, Lucius orchestrated the downfall of his adversaries. His ascent through the political hierarchy was swift and soon he found himself whispering into the ears of those who held the strings of power. However, Lucius's hunger for influence extended beyond the political sphere. He became a master puppeteer in the clandestine world of Roman intrigue, where secrets were more valuable than gold. His network of spies infiltrated the highest echelons of society, gathering information like a spider spinning its web. One night, under the moonlight, the city backslash S fountains whispered stories about long-forgotten conspiracies. It was on this very night that Lucius uncovered a plot that posed a threat to the Empire's very foundations. Armed with his knowledge, he played his cards carefully, exposing the conspirators without revealing his hand. As a result, the grateful Emperor bestowed upon him unprecedented favors, utterly unaware of the puppet strings that manipulated the revelation. Lucius's reputation as a mastermind behind the scenes grew as time passed. He outsmarted rivals, turned enemies into unwitting allies, and amassed power without brandishing a weapon. His ability to anticipate the moves of others became the stuff of legend, whispered tales that echoed through the corridors of power. However, the price of outsmarting everyone was the loneliness of a throne. Lucius, surrounded by admirers, oblivious to the puppeteer behind the curtain, found himself isolated in the ivory tower of his own making. The shadows that once concealed his machinations now draped him in a cloak of solitude. In quiet contemplation, Lucius would gaze upon the city he had conquered through his intellect. He often wondered whether the price of outsmarting everyone was worth the hollow victories it brought. Although the empire he had built stood firm, the man behind the curtain remained a mystery even to those who celebrated his triumphs. Standing atop the pinnacle of power in ancient Rome, where shadows whispered secrets and the echoes of ambition reverberated through the stone walls, Lucius was a master of outsmarting everyone. He ruled over an empire built on the delicate balance of wit and deception. Nevertheless, in the solitude of his triumph, he pondered the ultimate question. Was the art of outsmarting everyone a path to greatness or a lonely road to an empire of one? The art of outsmarting others requires clever manipulation, 
calculated risks and the dexterity to navigate life's complex chessboard. No matter how much it may seem that you are about to be outsmarted, you will only be outsmarted if you believe that you will be. No matter how many resources or advantages others may possess, you can always make use of whatever you have by thinking critically about your own resources. Becoming smart is better than trying to outsmart others. When you outsmart someone, you defeat or gain an advantage over them in a clever and sometimes dishonest way. If you want to be genuinely smart, focus on being a lifelong learner and admire superior qualities in others. Create opportunities that make you the least knowledgeable person in any meaningful gathering that you choose to be in. Get rid of your ego and surround yourself with people who are smarter, more intelligent, more powerful, more knowledgeable and expert masters than you. This can make you feel awful and increase your emotional insecurity from time to time unless you are comfortable with who you are and are truly learning for growth. Understanding your opponent's abilities is essential, even more than your own. It may be easy to attack them when they are weak, but a better strategy is to find a way to turn their strengths against them. This will leave them with no advantage to rely on. It is inherent in human nature to strive to be better than others. But the issue with this is that every individual believes themselves to be superior to others. People often fear being perceived as unintelligent. In a way, wisdom and knowledge are like money. When we possess money, we desire more and more of it, similarly with knowledge and wisdom. Cognitive skills refer to the mental abilities that allow us to learn, think critically, and solve problems with efficiency. Developing these skills can enhance our intelligence and help us outperform others. On the other hand, social intelligence pertains to the capacity to comprehend and navigate intricate social situations adeptly. By honing our social intelligence, we can gain a better understanding of others and leverage this knowledge to our advantage. Please take this story as a guide a reflection, and perhaps a cautionary tale as you embark on your own journey to outsmart the world. Remember, the most profound victories are often not won on the battlefield, but in the subtle maneuvers of the mind. We firmly believe that this story will help you become smarter in life. So, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.